So tell me what's going on in the studios these days. Well, you know, um, today, by the way, today is the um, record release of the Joshua Jern Jazz Orchestra, his new record called Lockdown. All right. And and I play lead trumpet on this and we uh, recorded it during the pandemic. That's why it's called Lockdown. And mm. today is the official release date of that record. And uh, so that that's today. Joshua Jern, he's a great writer. He's a great trumpet player. In fact, we work every Thursday night together at the Green Mill with the Alan Grace uh, Orchestra. Give me the uh, I'm going to put this in the notes here. Give me the spelling of that. Joshua Jern. Joshua Jern, J E R N. J E R N. And uh, the album is called Lockdown. Here, here it is, right here. Today is the release date of this album. Okay. And uh, we did another album about three years ago. We did this one together. It was called the. Uh, Midnight Stroll. Now we did this one at Palisades, the same place mm -hmm. where we've been doing the thing with uh, Mark Tremonte, mm -hmm. and um, which was the old Tone Zone studio, which is where we did all the Mantooth records in the early nineties. You know, and uh, so that's the release for today. And if you ask me what's coming up, uh, Thursday is the uh, record release party for this record that was released last fall. Yeah. And it was released on my record company, One Two Tree Records. That's O-N-E-T-O-O-T-R-E-E -E Records. And uh, we recorded this one at Electrical Audio a month before the pandemic started. And uh, we were um, able to release this last fall and it's gotten great reviews in downbeat magazine and jazz times and we had to delay the the release party until this coming thursday and the it's going to be the party the release party for that record for pete's sake from the pete elman big band is um at this place called the venue and it's in Aurora, Illinois, and it's Thursday, that's July 15th at 8 o'clock p.m., and the address is 21 South Broadway in Aurora, and our special guest is going to be vocalist Isabella Isherwood, okay, a wonderful vocalist, and that's for the release party for a record that was released last fall in October, and and the other thing about I want to say about Pete Elman's band is we just finished recording a Christmas CD again at Palisade Studios. It's like not all the studios have opened up mm -hmm, here. Mm -hmm. pandemic. So Palisade is real busy. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've done four projects there already this year since, uh, you know, the, everything started opening up. And this Christmas CD is is going to be called The Twelve Grooves of Christmas. Mm -hmm. And it was recorded June 15th and 16th at Palisade Studios. And uh, Carrie Deadman, a former lead trumpet player with Woody Herman's band and, and, a, and an alumni of uh, University of North Texas, he's the producer on the album. Mm -hmm. And that's also going to be released through my record company, One Two Tree Records. It's actually, the company is actually owned by me and Vicky. Mm -hmm. it's, it's our record company. And uh, we plan to release that record in mid-October because the first record did so well mm -hmm. that we decided let's go right back in the studio and do a right do a Christmas album, you know. And because I'm very associated with a few Christmas albums, yeah, uh, well, right, uh, one or two that Carrie Carrie <laughs> did. And as much as I love those albums, as far as the ensemble work is concerned, this album that I just recorded with the Beat Elm and Big Band may be the best Christmas album I've ever been on. And I played lead on every track, and we wrote, they wrote some really nice things that mm -hmm. showcases everybody's abilities. So uh, we did that one, and uh, and there was one more thing that we did. And it was also at Palisade Studios. Mm 